So, so far I have uh, 215 hours of practice since I started this thing and um, I have a long way to go. But I've, I've done uh, these hours uh, pretty fast. I started in, at the end of August and here I am almost mid-October. I have that many hours. Uh, I hope to have 700 hours, a minimum of 600 by the end of December. And it's encouraging uh, to see my progress, I'm talking about myself, not for anybody else, because that's primarily who I'm recording these for is myself. And if there's any critiques that come along, then so be it. But uh, one thing that's fascinating to me is how you can start practicing something and feel so frustrated like there's this huge mound and then you keep doing it and doing it and eventually it clears itself up it's like flying through a cloud you know when you're in it you don't know where you're going but eventually you'll get out of it and you'll be you'll see clear blue sky so um, just one example of this is is going fast also I've been working on this new this new grip you know, uh, I've been tongue blocking only, and this new grip has finally felt comfortable to me. It's actually more more comfortable and more stable than than this. Now it's this. So, uh, I'm just warming up. I got done with a 12-hour shift. So, um, let's see how this goes. Okay, so... So, that, that's coming together, the side to side. That's something that cleared itself up uh, through hours of practice. Just sitting there. Uh, and actually, less than, I mean, a couple hours and... And I finally got the feeling of it where my my uh, jaw's not moving. It used to be. Now it's. So it's just going side to side. And I've heard it can be done other ways, but I'm only doing it side to side because it's the right sound. Um, but the most interesting thing for me is as you speed up, um, you th people think that if they play something, you know, over and over, that it, they'll speed it up. You know, they'll start slow, and then they'll learn it. But you have to learn it fast. You And I don't mean by playing it fast, but you have to learn the exact mechanism of how you're going to play it fast. And I'm going to demonstrate this. It goes, not that I'm going to play it fast, but that I've been able to, when I'm fully warmed up, I've been able to play it much more efficiently which leads to uh, increased speed and efficiency equals speed basically so so that so when you go in slow when you're practicing it slow at first I thought okay I'll go slow you know ten times But then you try to go faster, and you're still accenting. You can't accent when you're going fast. So I had that um, that epiphany when I'm going from the two draw to the three draw uh, quarter bend or blue third. You just have to slide, and it just comes. You can't actually go. So, what happened was at first when I was sliding, it was totally out of pitch because I wasn't, because because for a lot of for me and I've I've heard harmonica players do this, um, and I know what they're doing now, and I couldn't hear it, but now I can hear it. They they use that excess accent, that extra breath force to make sure they get that note in tune.
but okay so what what I figured out was you just have to let it go when, when you let things go it'll come back to you uh, ten times better so I first started with then it should feel like that it should feel like you're not bending it at all so can you do are you able to do that Andrew going back and forth going are you able to do that with the blue third so that's what it should be like it shouldn't be it just sounds like shit so what I got to do is So that it's just it's it's really cool. I don't know. It's it's hard to describe. I mean, when you practice a lot, I guess these things just come. And I know for clarinet, I've experienced it quite a bit. But for harmonica, it's a little different because it's there's no fingers to say you know put your finger down. It's it's all very very nuanced. That's what I like about the harmonica. So just keep practicing and. Eventually all the pieces will fit.